Hey everyone, I'm Nicole from Roto Grinders with a video tutorial on the lineup headquarters feature called Player Groups. Let's go into lineup headquarters and explain what groups are. You'll find the groups under the Build Rules tab. Over here we have Player Groups. Notice I don't have any groups. Let's just click New Group so we can bring up what the screen's going to look like. So a group has a min and a max option here and a rule underneath it of what that group rule is going to be across all of your lineups. So different than exposures where you're setting individual players to a certain percentage of lineups you want them to appear in. In groups, each of your group rules is going to be defined for all of your lineups. So for example, if we had a group and we put in LeBron, and someone he's playing against tonight, let's say it's Jeremy Grant, someone cheap. And we changed our min-max numbers. If we bumped this to one, we'd be using exactly one player out of this group. So if I built 10 lineups that way, notice we got 100% LeBron James and zero of Jeremy Grant, which makes sense because LeBron's going to have such a high projection that it's going to try to fit him into the lineups first. And since we don't have any exposure set or any other rules to follow, LeBron was chosen for all of the lineups. Let's go back in here. Let's add another group. This time, let's put in more expensive players like Westbrook and James Harden together. If we bumped this up and said use both of them, now we have to use exactly two players from this group. We haven't named our group yet. You can click on this pencil here to edit it. So we'll call it Westbrook and Harden both. Save that. We could name this group. Group 1 is the one that has LeBron in it. Alright, so now we're going to be trying to fit one player from the group of LeBron James and Jeremy Grant with Westbrook and Harden both. Let's build those 10 lineups. You'll see we got 100% Westbrook, 100% Grant, and 100% Harden. And no LeBron James, which makes sense because we break the salary cap most likely. So let's find out. If we go into the build rules, we bump up LeBron's group to two, where it's going to have to use Grant and James with Harden and Westbrook. Let's see how that goes. Well, here we go. We've got zero of ten lineups. Like I said, that's probably because we broke the salary cap trying to fit LeBron James in there with all of them. But you'll see we got Grant again from, oh, that was build two, right, because we didn't get a build three yet. Let's go back into our rules. If we change this a little bit and we put a new person under here, let's see, we gave it J.R. Smith, and we set two. Let's just put this back down at one. So it's going to try to pick at least one player, but up to two players. So it's possible we could get Grant and Smith together, or Smith and James together, or Grant and James together, with Westbrook and Harden. And because we relaxed that rule slightly and chose another cheap player in that group, we were able to get our Westbrook and our Harden. Here's J.R. Smith in this lineup. J.R. Smith over here in this one. Jeremy Grant, Jeremy Grant. J.R. Smith, Jeremy Grant. J.R. Smith, J.R. Smith. And two more J.R. Smiths down at the bottom to satisfy that rule. So as you go along and make more player groups here, it might be hard to meet all of the requirements and some things may start to conflict, like we saw when we tried to put the three most expensive players on the slate together. You can enable or disable a group. So if we disabled the group LeBron here, and we built 10 more lineups, we still have 100% of Westbrook and Harden, but now you'll see in this first lineup we don't have J.R. Smith in there anymore, and this one either, no Jeremy Grant, because we disabled that. 
build rule. Um, the other thing that you can do with these groups, of course, would be you can delete them. We'll talk about this conditional use group only if a given player is in the lineup option in a different video. But a delete group is very straightforward if we wanted to get rid of that one entirely. We could delete that group. Westbrook and Harden both. Let's make one new group here. And let's find Devin Harris is one of the players that I saw in that last lineup there. If we put him in as a min of zero max, we'll set this up to two. And let's go ahead and add Jabal Murray along with him. We'll change this to one so that we don't have Murray and Harris together, but we could have one of them. Now when we go build those lineups, we'll call this group Nuggets Point Guards. We still have Westbrook and Harden in there. And here you see we got 90% Devin Harris and 10% Jamal Murray. So that's an introduction to how the player groups work. There'll be more videos coming soon for other features of lineup headquarters. If you have any other questions, you can let me know. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone, it's Dan Bach of Roto Grinders here to remind you about a great new addition we have to our browser extensions for FanDuel and on DraftKings. If you haven't used it already and you're a premium member, right now you can get the ownership projections and our projected fantasy points right there on the screen while you build your lineups. Again, this is exclusive for people who are premium subscribers at Roto Grinders, and it's making your experience of building lineups that much easier on the two big sites. Also on DraftKings, we've recently added the feature of being able to do that on the My Lineups page as well. So check it out if you haven't done so. It's free to get these browser extensions, but to get the premium add-ons, make sure you're a Roto-Grinders premium subscriber.